Okay, now I will discuss the concept of degree of operating leverage, DOL. Degree of operating leverage is a concept we use to estimate the operating risk a company is facing. If the degree of operating leverage is high for a company, then it means that it has a very high operating risk. With a high operating risk, it means that if the quantity the customer buy fluctuates, for example, reduce, then the earning of that company will reduce a lot. Before that, let's recap some basic concepts of the income statement. We know that in the income statement, we have the gross sale. A gross sales is just the quantity we sell and times the price. So it is QP. And then for every product we sell, there is a variable cost. This variable cost is associated with each individual product. The more quantity you sell, the higher the total variable cost. And finally, we have the so-called fixed cost. Fixed cost is the cost which is independent of the quantity sold. Example of fixed cost can be the rent of the building, the rent of the equipment. So in this simplified income statement, we first we have the gross income. The gross income then minus the total variable cost and the fixed cost will give us the so-called earnings before interest and tax. Okay, so this is the main point here. The definition of the degree of operating leverage is just the percentage change in the earning before interest and tax divided by the percentage change in the quantity sold. So this is the operating risk we have just discussed. So believe it or not, the degree of operating leverage can be derived to be this equation. I'm not going to derive here, but if you are interested in deriving this equation and you have difficulty, you can send an email and let us know. So the degree of operating average is equal to the quantity sold times the price minus the variable cost divided by the quantity sold times the price minus the variable cost and then minus the fixed cost. Okay, so this is just equation. The most important thing in the exam is first to memorize the definition of degree of operating leverage, which is the operating risk, and then memorize this equation. So the best way to understand this is to look into an example. Now here is an example. So we assume the fixed cost of a company is $100. The quantity it produces is 6 and the variable cost of each quantity is $20. The price the product is sold is $40. So what does it mean? It means in a daily operation, if I produce six quantity of the product, there is a fixed cost, $100, that I have to pay anyway. If, even I don't produce these six quantities, I still have to pay $100 of fixed cost. And for each of the quantity I produce, maybe the labor or the raw material will cost me $20. So altogether producing six quantity will give $120 of the variable cost. And for each product, I'm going to sell it for $40. Okay, so what is the earning before interest and tax? It is $20. This is because we produce six quantity. And for each of them, we sell it for $40. But then for each of them, we also have a variable cost of $20. So this one minus 6 times $20 of the variable cost. And then all together, we have to minus the fixed cost also. This is the EBIT. So this is 20. Okay, then by similar method, we may produce 7 quantity, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the variable cost for individual product is still 20. The fixed cost is still 100, right? And the price of each product is still 40. So the earning before interest and tax will become this. You can see that as we increase the quantity outputs, the earning will increase. This is normal. Then what is the operating leverage? The DOL by definition, is the percentage change of the EBIT for every percentage change of the quantity. So let's say if we increase the production from 6 to 7, 
the percentage change of the EBIT will be 40 minus 20 divided by 20, right? And how about the percentage change of the quantity? We increase the quantity by 1 from 6 to 7. So this is 1. And the percentage change will be 1 over 6. Originally it is 6, now it increased to 7. So the ratio of the percentage change of the EBIT divided by the percentage change of the quantity will be equal to 6. So then in order to copy this cell to other row, I will just change the 6 to the cell name, B2, then I can copy the rest. So what do you see here? The DOL is actually reducing when we produce more outputs. So here you see one thing. Because of the fixed cost, the earning before interest and test is very low at the beginning because we have to cover the fixed cost. But once our quantity produced increase a lot, the fixed cost becomes negligible. So the DOL reduces. It means the leverage is reducing. As a result, the risk is reducing. For example, when we produce quantity of 6, then if we change 1% of the production, the EBIT will increase by 6%. But once we reach the production of 11, if we change the production by 1%, the earning will only increase by 1.8%.